Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing lower on Thursday, pressured by shares in consumer services, food and staples retailing, and energy sectors. On the economic docket, initial jobless claims increasing to 214,000 in the week ended December 15, continuing claims climbing to 1.688 million in the week ended December 8. Also, the Philly Fed Business Outlook Index declining to 9.4 in December, while the leading index rose 0.2% in November. All while decliners ahead of advancers, 88% of S&P 500 constituents trading lower yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Nike reporting second quarter diluted EPS of 52 cents versus 46 cents a year ago on revenue of $9.37 billion. Cintas announcing second quarter EPS of $2.76 versus $1.31 last year on revenue of $1.72 billion. And IBM said that there is no evidence that its sensitive data or client information has been compromised by the threat reported by the media. Earlier, Reuters reported that Chinese Ministry of State Security attacked the company. Turning overseas, Asian markets losing ground today. The Nikkei down 1.11 percent. The Hang Seng up about half a percent. China's CSI 300 down one and a quarter percent. South Korea's coast be up 0.07 percent. European markets slightly lower and U.S. futures calling for a negative start. Now, there's no major earnings expectations today, but on the economic dock at 8.30 in the morning, we have the third quarter GDP annualized read, as well as personal consumption for the same period. We also have durable goods orders. Well, 10 o'clock in the morning, we have personal income, personal spending, and the University of Michigan final consumer sentiment read. Taking a look now at the markets, the S&P 500 sees its key resistance 25.16. The Nasdaq sees its key resistance 63.90, while the Dow Jones under pressure and in focus. <clears throat> the relative strength index mixed the bearish for the Dow. Short positions below 23,415 are favored, with targets at 22,610 and 22,380 in extension.